Well, I'm glad you're back. I look forward to another conversation, a bit of tea with Peggy. And I wanted you to see my t-shirt before I sat down. I hope you can read it. Ban guns, not books. I've used it once before, but it seems that we have to continue using it. I think we're up to 228 mass shootings since the beginning of this year, when I think there are less than 180 days so far. That's worth thinking about. And I've been wondering, I'm in the arts, I'm an actress, and I'm just wondering, uh, and a bit of a writer, uh, what we can do in the arts. And I have an example for you. I have two uh, critiques of, uh, of a documentary and a uh, feature film. And I'd like you uh, to think about those because one of them uh, I know would be wonderful for you and your family, any age or level. And the name of it is The Quiet Girl. It's in the Irish language, in Gaelic. And the gentleman who wrote it, uh, adapted it, and then directed it. And he took it from a short story or a novel that was written by a woman. And of course, there are subtitles, so you, you need not be a speaker of Gaelic to enjoy it, although that's another part. But it is a beautiful film, and I can best describe it by telling you what it isn't. It isn't violent. No one, or no animal, nothing, gets killed in the movie. There is no special effects. There's no um, explosions. Uh, no aliens arrive. Nothing gets blown up. And there's not any sex in it either. But there's a lot of love. And it should be seen. It is a beautiful, beautiful movie. And I think if we concentrated a, a little bit more on ideas and a little less on violence, we might do well. Now, the other one that I really, really enjoyed is a documentary. I'm not a particularly big fan of documentaries, but this one was beautiful. And it will particularly mean something to those of us old enough to remember baseball. Remember that? Great game. And it is a... Uh, homage to um, Yogi Berra, who was a wonderful guy, known as well uh, for his mallet props, his um, pieces of yogiisms, as they were called, his quotes. And also, uh, he was a wonderful baseball player. And more importantly, he was a good athlete and a good man with a sense of humor and I think it's worth seeing over and over again. It is absolutely wonderful. And again, no violence. Not even really much anger in it. And when it is, it gets resolved. And it is a wonderful movie. And again, anybody can enjoy it. You don't have to be a great baseball fan or know everybody. And of course, those of us old enough to remember him, well, that's worth watching too. But I wanted to just tell you about those two movies. I think we in the arts can change things. We can change it by what we present to the public. We don't have to stop presenting other things, but we have to explore the deeper emotions, the one-on-one -on -one emotions. And perhaps then we can get our <laughs> Senate to not vote against banning assault weapons on the street. I think that's a, enough talking for today. I'm so glad to see you back, and I hope that you'll continue to have tea with Peggy. Goodbye now, and God bless.